first of all, I, I can't imagine uh, how hard that is uh, to keep. It's, it's hard for anyone who's gay to come out. It's a very, very hard thing to do. You're scared of acceptance and, and, and all that stuff. But to be in a sport that's so macho, you must have gone to great lengths to try to, to make sure no one would think you were gay. Yeah, I, I, I became the master of playing the straight man. Um, you know, I would go to the bars with the boys. I would always be the one to start a fight. Um, I would always be the one to be out latest and drink the most. You know, I even went to the extreme of, of marrying the perfect woman for me, the, the best person on this planet. Um, I went through to marry her, and you know, I remember before we got married, I used to go to the church where we did we would do to get married, and I'd sit there in the in the graveyard and look up at the steeple and. I couldn't say nothing to anybody, and I'd sit there and I'd clench my hands and just close my eyes as, as tight as I could and just pray, pray to be straight, you know, pray to be everything I, that the world thought I should be. Right. So you stayed married for three years, and finally you told your wife. Uh, that was the first person you told? Yes, yeah, she deserved to be the first person I told. Um, you know, I, I felt at 35, I could almost release her. I felt like I tied her up in these chains. And, you know, when somebody says they love you every day and does everything for you like she did for me, then, you know, there comes a certain point where you have to be truthful with them. You have to set them free, and, and that's what I decided to do. Was it a complete shock to her? Um, yeah, it was, you know, obviously not the, 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 the most memorable day of our marriage. It was... It, was... it probably was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suppose in many ways it yeah. probably was, yes. Um, so, yeah, you know, we, we, we went through certain times together, but we were kind of addicted to each other. And we were best friends, mm -hmm. um, as, as well as many other things to each other. And we decided to stay together for a certain while because we were kind of, you know, hooked on each other. Right. So we kind of had to wean each other off. Right. So you told your wife and then you told your family. Yeah. And how did your family react? Um, you know, my, my parents went to, you know, I think we need to give people credit sometimes when you like them for so long. I remember when I went to tell my parents, it was kind of a shock because I'd created somebody different you know, than they thought I was. And I remember sitting down with them and nothing was spoken after I, after I sat down and said I was gay. Nothing was said for about three weeks. And about three weeks later, I remember going back to my parents' house and we sat down and there was three champagne glasses on the table. And, you know, my father's a tough guy. You know, many guys in Wales are, are tough guys. And when he talks, people listen, so he doesn't say much. And we sat there and, you know, we, my mother said, go and fetch some champagne from the fridge. And we brought champagne in. And I just don't know why we're drinking the champagne. And my father turned around and said to me, son, I just want to stitch you and toast to start the rest of your life. And to me, that was an acceptance of my family, which meant I could wow. start to move on. What yeah, a cool dad. Day. Day. He is the best. What a cool He's dad. The best. The best. Yeah. So, so then you wait a while before you tell the world. Mm. And no, so you're still playing, and your teammates don't know. No, I, I'm, I'm still playing. They don't know. Um, and I remember there was one game we went out and I was, you know, kind of struggling with a lot of things. My wife had left me. I was running out and playing in a stadium in front of 80,000 people and, and still trying to deal with it. And there was one game, uh, particularly at the end of it, I was just in tears because emotionally I couldn't cope with what was going on. And, you know, my coach came up to me and said, you know, why are you crying? And I decided I just had to tell him, I, you know, this is my coach, he needs to know. And I decided to tell him I was gay. And he said, well, you know, you can't go through this on your own. Your teammates are your buddies. They need to know. And he decided to tell my team on my behalf. And, you know, every teammate after that, and that day, walked up to me, tapped me on the back, and just said, you're the same Gareth Thomas as you were before, and we love you for it. Yeah. That's a... I really... I, I give you so much credit, because to be in such a macho sport and to, and to decide that it's more important to live your life, your truth, and no matter what, um, is, is, a, is a big deal. I mean, it's a hard decision, you think, but it's not a hard decision. It's your life. And when you, when you hear that there are other athletes, I'm sure other athletes have, have mm -hmm. confided in you that they're gay, yeah. that you know are in, in yeah. the closet, um, what would you say to someone who is in a, you know, there are a lot of athletes who are gay? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of athletes who are gay, and there's a lot of difficult situations and individual situations that every other athlete... Um, is, is in and you know I don't try and coax people to come out because it needs to be right for them because it's so individual but you know sometimes when I speak to some people and just think that the power and the influence that sports people famous sports people have on the world in general children 
uh, and adults both, you know, it, it's such an amazing, and, and if they come out and show such a positive story and such a positive message, you know, it changes the world. It really does. Sport is something that can change the world. And, and with somebody being gay in sport and being able to continue that sport sends such a positive message right. to children and adults. To not just get stuck in stereotypes. Uh, I admire you. I think you're amazing. I admire you.